damn platypus is. Oh, like Perry the platypus. So it's shaped like this. Even even. Gotta try. I like shot and make it better. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. And I don't care about the presents. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Bidene. And if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to join us in my little corner of the internet by subscribing down below and hitting that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload. So, for today's video and for today's installment of 12 Days of Blackness, I'll be bringing you guys my current obsessions. I have a few skincare products, beauty products, body products, hair products. So let's get right into it, shall we? First off, I'm going to start off with, let me get my handy dandy notes app. What am I starting out with? Bing bong. Guys, that's stuck in my head. Like, I need to keep off of TikTok. Anyway, we starting off with skincare. We jumping right into it. First off, we have the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask, or Laneige, however it's pronounced, but it looks like this. Love it. I wear it. I put it on every night. I have it now about a month, and it has quite a dent in it, but I still have a good amount left. It lasts really long. When I wake up, I'm hydrated. I'm moist. My skin, I don't have like breakouts anymore. I barely use as much things that I used to use in my skincare routine. And now my face is flourishing. So less is more, guys. Unless you have stuff like prescribed to you, less is more. And that's with anything. Beauty, fashion, skincare. Less is always more. So yeah, I do use the Laneige. Taja said that's how you pronounce it, so I'm gonna pronounce it that way. I do use this every single night. No matter if I come home drunk, no matter if I come home high, I'm gonna put on some Laneige, okay? <laughs> Even if I'm out of town, I walk with it. When I was in Vegas, I put this on every night. It's just, uh, gets your skin right and tight, okay? Next up, we have the Basha. Somebody tell me how to pronounce this. Like, put the pronunciation in the comment section if you can. But it's this. It's the Basha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. It looks like this. I actually picked this one up from Marshalls. It was probably like $7.99 for it. I do know the full price on the actual Basha website and on Sephora. It's like in the teens, probably like $17, $19, but I got this for $7.99 and it's really good. This is what I've been using for the past couple months as well. No breakouts. As I told you, your girl has been downscaling on how much skincare she uses because less is more. But yeah, it does this thing where it heats up while you rubbing it on your face initially. And I think that opens up your pores and gets like a deep clean. So yeah, I love this for that. Next up, I do have some oral hygiene products. I'm starting off with my beloved Terra Breath. I actually received this for free to try and review and I love it. I did have and did used to use Terra Breath before, but this is my first time trying the Rainforest Mint version and I love it. It's amazing. It gets your breath fresh all the time. I think Thorough Breath was in my last Obsessions video. That's how good it is. It keeps your breath fresh for really long. Like, this says fights bad breath for 24 hours. That is not a lie. That is not an exaggeration. It is amazing. It also has in no alcohol, no artificial flavors or colors, and it doesn't burn. You know, like those other mouthwashes be burning hair, like your tongue feel like it's gonna catch on fire. This is not gonna do that to you. I, mm, mm, this is the one. After you brush your teeth good, floss good, and then you use your tongue scrubber good, and then you go ahead and follow up with this. What is bad breath? Who is she? We don't know her. We don't know her over here. So yeah, Terra Breath, get you soon. Get you soon. She the bomb. Following up with more oral hygiene stuff. This is more for my braces gals. We have the platypus floss. So I found out about platypus floss from watching Taja's YouTube channel. She is a dental hygienist and she has braces as well and she did recommend platypus floss for us girlies who have 
the braces, you know, because of how it's shaped. Let me show you. This is how the floss is shaped. Like what it says, a platypus floss is literally shaped like a platypus beak, kind of. Do platypus have beaks? Kind of, yeah. Am I thinking on the right animal? No, that's a beaver. Girl, I don't know what a damn platypus is. Oh, like Perry the platypus. It's shaped like the tail. Kind of. Anyway, it has this flat part right here. So to floss properly, you will hold it this way with the flat part facing the front so that it can get between the wire and your teeth. And it is 10 out of 10. Recommend for those of us who have braces or brace face girly. This has made flossing much easier before i used to have like a floss treader that the dentist actually gave me and that would take me so long to floss my damn teeth it would take me too long to floss usually it would take me about two to three minutes to floss with that thing girl i was taking five to ten like why am i flossing for ten minutes anyway five plus floss changed my braces game my floss game for the better upgrade to some platypus floss and save you some time energy and yeah you can get them off of amazon all the stuff i'm talking about will be linked in the description box down below for your easy convenience you know how i do with you guys i always help you out now i ain't never been with a body eh she calls so i add her to the toilet next up are our beauty products first beauty product i have here is the beauty blender bounce foundation of course we love her we wear her when we want a full beat. It is beautiful. The coverage is beautiful. The finish is beautiful. Like, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. And right and right on the coattails of the foundation is the skin tint. I love this as well. I'm wearing it right now. It's it says that it's a light coverage, but I find it to be more like of a buildable coverage. So you can build it up to as much coverage as you want. Whereas the foundation is a definitely full coverage. This can be seen as like a lighter coverage, but it is definitely buildable. I'm wearing it right now. And like I said, she's that girl. She is that girl. I have it in the shade Deep 4, and then the foundation is in the shade 4.60 neutral so get these two in your life and you'll be set for life i will definitely be repurchasing these same shade everything once these are done this was actually sent to me from beauty blender and this i picked up in marshall's so and I have the vlog where I picked this one up in Marshall, so you can check that out in the iCrats as well. I got you. Next up, I do have the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camel Concealer. This is the matte finish one. I've heard good things about the hydrating one as well. I haven't finished that as yet, but this is what I've been using. This as well as my Sephora Collection Bright Future Serum Concealer, something like that. That is what I use, and as you can tell, the base is sitting. The base is setting, okay? The face is flawless. We look radiant. We look lovely. Isn't she lovely? That's me. Anyway, so yeah. Tip about this, though, it dries down really fast. So you need to move quickly. And sometimes if you don't move quick enough, she can't show up in your, like, flash photos. But... All you gotta do is move fast, okay? Just move fast, and if you feel like it got too dry, too quick, you just put some of your foundation over it, blend it on out, and you're good to go. But this has a lovely coverage. It is matte for our oily girls. And yeah, I really do like this. This is in the color Deep Cinnamon. Only thing, I'm gonna need Elf to fix the shade range a little bit, so cause why is this deep? What part of this concealer is deep? Let me know. If this is deep four from Beauty Blender, how will this be deep as well? The math ain't mathing. The math ain't mathing. But I love the concealer. 
I'll fix it. Next up, I have, this is one of my newer purchases. I actually bought this when I was in Las Vegas and has quickly fallen in love with it. I've been wearing it all the time. This is the 8D Deep Glam Palette. Oh. Let me show you guys, let me open up this beauty and show it to you guys, okay? This is what, you know how the Morphe palettes look on the outside, but then the game changer is when you open it up. So this is what it looks like. The light is washing it out, but I promise you, I promise you, amazing palette. The contour shade is actually really, really dark. The first time I used it, I used it heavy and it was like, I put mud on my face. <laughs> it was way too much and too dark. So I used this bronzer color and a little dash of the contour powder or else you finna look crazy, child. But yeah, it is a lovely palette. I used the brightening powder in here as well, as well as the highlighter. Right now I have on the highlighter, the blush, the brightening powder, the bronzer, and the contour. Get into it. Get into it. I love it. I love this palette. And what was even better, I got it for $8 in the Morphe store in Las Vegas because they had their like Black Friday sale. I went in there on Black Friday. I got this for $8 and it retails for $22. I tell you, your girl don't spend a bad penny but all the shits be quality, okay? Be quality stuff. Amazing. Love it. The next Morphe item that I have that made my current obsessions are these lashes that I'm wearing right now. They're from the brand Flutter Lashes that can be found in Morphe. It is the style Royalty. I also picked up a second pair of these. This is what the packaging looks like in las vegas i had a pair already i took a pair there they broke because i just one night i was drunk and i just threw them down they, were, they weren't really broken they were like bent so i was like let me just get me another pair and uh, uh, uh. these are only ten dollars for these lashes and they are amazing i love how they're shaped so they're like wispy and then they go from like short to long they elongate the eyes they make you look fabulous i love these lashes and you could tell i love them because i went and i bought them back like i had other lashes I, one thing about me i got me some lashes like you could come to my house and if you need lashes i got you but yeah, I actually went out and I repurchased this pair of lashes. Same pair that I had from before. Just repurchased them because I am obsessed. I know I tell you say that I'm obsessed with everything because this is an obsessions video, you know? But yeah, I really love these lashes and I do recommend them. Especially if you're a beginner lash girl, you should definitely check these out. They're affordable. And they, you can reuse them over and over and over and over until, child, if they get too clumpy, you can always wash them, take off the glue with a little tweezers and keep you warm, child. You can have these lashes forever if you want. <laughs> you can have these lashes forever if you want. But yeah, I really do like these lashes and they don't make my eyes itch. So it's either lashes or lash glue that makes my eyes itch and I've changed up both. Speaking of lash glue, that is my next thing on my current obsession. It's the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. It's formaldehyde free and latex free. It's the clear one. It looks like this. I was inspired to buy this lash glue because when I went to North Carolina, this is the lash glue that I borrowed from Jaff to use and I realized that my eyes weren't irritated and now my eyes aren't irritated all the time. Well, none of the time actually. So I do know that it was either the lashes that I used to use or the lash glue. Sometimes I still use those lashes and my eye doesn't bother me. So I really, I'm really thinking that it was the lash glue that I used to use. I used to use the Dua lash glue. Never use that again. I got me some of this Kiss Lash Glue and my life changed forever and it has been amazing. So it made it to the current obsessions, easy. Next, we got a few hair care products. We're gonna first start off with Alicay Natural Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. 
Now, Reza Empress used to talk about this a lot on her channel. She is a hair care guru, hair care guru, if I do say so. Um, you can check her channel out. Make sure to check her out, send her some love, okay? But yeah, I did pick this up in Marshalls as well. It was probably for like $6. I picked it up and I haven't put it down since. I use it on my natural hair. It leaves my hair so soft. And you just spray it in when you're finished, like washing, deep conditioning, rinsing out, deep conditioning, all that. This is the last step you would put in. You would use, well, other than oils and stuff, but you'll put this in. If you're doing the lock method, you put this in before your oils and conditioner. If you're doing the LCO method, you'd still put it in before your oils. And not conditioner sorry oils and creams so this will be the leave-in part and I do love it I just spritz 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 spritz, spritz it all over my hair it's easy to just spray it all over your hair instead of like having to worry about you know getting it all up making a mess everywhere it is I really like it I really really like it also in the hair care category I do have this rose water sulfate free hydrating shampoo from the brand TGIN also picked this up at Marshalls. TGIN, I've always been hearing about the brand and how it's a really good brand for natural hair. TGIN stands for Thank God It's Natural, so it is catered to people with natural hair. And I do love this. It gets my hair really clean without stripping it. It still feels really hydrated, but then it is still really clean. I don't have any buildup or anything like that. So I do really like this shampoo. This was my first time trying it. So I've been trying it for the past couple weeks when I wash my hair. As you can see, it's about less than halfway. So I've used it quite a bit. So yeah, I really do enjoy TGI and Rose Water Sulfate Free Hydrating Shampoo. And it made it to the current obsession. It says made with rose water and acai berry. It's a lightweight moisturizing shampoo for soft, smooth, frizz-free hair. And I did see that my hair was really soft and really smooth. So, she the one, not the two, she the one. I will definitely be repurchasing this if I can find it in Marshalls again. I don't know if I'm gonna pay full price, but if I find it in Marshalls, I'll definitely pick it up. <laughs> But yeah. Next up are our two body care items and these are the two last items on our current obsessions list for right now. I have the Native Body Washes. Brianna, you were right. Brianna, you were right. These are bomb, these are bomb. This one is the Cherry and Vanilla Macaron. This was in their fall collection that they had. I finished, I'm literally on the last one now which is the Green Tea matcha latte that one is my favorite so i saved it for last i finished the oat milk latte one and i finished this one as well this is done but these are amazing my skin feels so clean and it's like not stripping of your natural oils but you still feel really clean I, and this smells so good i let i already purchased my winter box as well as the winter box with deodorants because you guys know i love me some native deodorants so yeah Definitely, definitely an obsession. Definitely love it and will keep loving it from now until who knows when. I gotta find something else that would wow me in order for me to stop purchasing these. And it's $18 for three. You can't go wrong with $18 for three body washes and these are 11.5 ounces. These last, these last me like a good month or two. So, why not? And then lastly is more of a newer pickup. It is my Good Wipes. I have been using these for the past couple of days when I used to potty. And these have been really good. You know, you know some wipes that you use for your butt <laughs> and for your front. They kind of like sting. But these don't. These are really good. And they're said to be hypoallergenic, plant-based, toxin-free. They're pH balanced and deliciously soothing wipes with organic aloe and rose water. This is the rose water um, flavor. Do you say flavor for wipes? Scented? I don't know. They don't have a scent though. They don't really have a scent. But this is the rose water one. They do have other scents, I guess. On here, they said only the good stuff. Toxin and dye free. 99% purified H2O, hyperallergenic, flushable, pH balanced, and legendary feel. 
P.S. They're really big and thick with two C's too. They are really big. That's what I like about them too. They're really, really big. And I've also ordered from Target because they don't have them in the store. I picked these up at Target a few days ago. They don't have the down there wash in the store because that's what I, Andre Renee, a YouTuber that I watch. That's how I was introduced to the Good Down There brand from Andre Renee. She talks about the body wash. I went into Target, they did the down there wash. <laughs> I walked into Target, they didn't have the down there wash in my Target, so I picked up the wipes, and these are really good. So I did order the down there wash. It hasn't reached yet, but as soon as I get it, I'll let you know how I feel about it, you know? I got you. Anyway, these are really good. If you need some good wipes for the bathroom, these are really good, and they were like $6.99 for a pack of two, and each pack has in 60 wipes. So, and they're really big. So, get you one, girl. Get you one. Anyway, guys, those are all of my current obsessions. We covered the topics of beauty, skin care, body care, hair care, all that good stuff, girl. You know, all the things I love. Everything that makes you feel good, look good, smell good, you know? Anyway, if you guys are interested in any more of these types of videos, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the video as well and tell me some of your current obsessions so I can go check them out. Maybe I'll be obsessed too. Maybe I'll be obsessed too. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Join us here in the gang gang because you know and I know. So everybody should know that we lit over here. Therefore, go ahead and share this video with your family and friends on all your socials, including Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, TikTok, whatever else social you got. Facebook. I said that already. Girl, get it together. <laughs> you can also go ahead and follow me, your girl Bree, if you so desire on all of those socials as well. All that will be in the description box down below for your easy convenience. Now, I gotta go. Therefore, I'm wishing you guys lots of love and light as per usual. Bye. Make my wish come true.